Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. I uh, just want to give you guys... Um, just want to make a video about what happened to me about a couple days ago in my car. And... Um, got a fix sense, but I had a no crank, no start issue with my car. Basically, the car worked fine all day. I drove it pretty much all day. Back and forth, doing a whole bunch of stuff. And um, I stopped at the Arby's. I stopped at an Arby's to get some to get some food, and pretty much uh, ate there. Got back out, and I was all ready to go back home. And the car um, did not crank up, did not start. So anyway, the uh, the, the remote uh, worked. Got into the car. Everything came on as normal. The dash lights. Um, radio, you know, everything that was supposed to work, worked, and, uh, but it wouldn't crank up, it wouldn't crank, it wouldn't, it wouldn't start up, it wouldn't crank, obviously, so at that point, I was kind of, you know, I, I tried it at least four or five times to, to try to get it to, to crank, but all I heard was like a click on each try, so basically what I did was I got out, turned on the, to the, um, the, the headlights got out, and, uh, try to see whether the headlights were bright or not uh, just to make out try, just to try to make out whether the batteries were good and the batteries uh, the battery was changed up maybe like um, five months ago so I I was thinking it could be the battery could, you know maybe maybe the maybe uh, it was put in uh, you know maybe the terminals loose or something like that but I mean the lights were pretty bright so I couldn't make anything of it so what I did was I, I popped you know, I, I, I got to the battery and uh, pretty much uh, I got to the battery and um, and checked the terminals to make sure that the terminals were um, uh, weren't corroded or anything like that. But the, the, the terminals did look a little bit corroded. Uh, the terminals did look a little bit corroded. And um, what I did was I actually had some coke, put some coke over it, fizzed it up, and uh, I was able to wiggle it out. It wasn't loose. The terminals weren't loose or anything like that. I wiggled it out, took some paper towel, cleaned it up, popped it back on, popped them back on, and I cleaned it up pretty good and uh, tried to start it, and, you know, that didn't work out. It did the same thing. So at that point, I was I was looking at the um, the ground wire because I was scratching my head trying to figure out what the problem was, and uh, checked out the ground wire and checked to see whether the ground wire was corroded, whether it was broken off from the frame. But the ground wire looked fine. There was a little bit of uh, there was a little bit of rust on it, but it looked fine. So I had no issues with um, the ground wire and had no issues with that. But um, just to be sure that it wasn't the battery, what I did was I got uh, a uh, power pack that I bought from Walmart and uh, popped that on. It was at 75% capacity, but you know I turned that on and uh, tried to turn on uh, the car. Had the same situation. Um, it still would not crank, would not turn on. And uh, at that point, I, I could rule out a whole bunch of stuff. I could rule out the battery... 100% ruled out the battery, ruled out the ground wire, um, and uh, pretty much ruled out the alternator because uh, I thought maybe the alternator went out and uh, it didn't wasn't charging the battery correctly and got into the situation where um, where it wouldn't crank. But I really didn't think it was the alternator, considering you know it you know. Uh, Considering the, the headlights were pretty bright, the battery probably had, you know, at the very worst, had enough juice to bright up to, to, to you know. So, I mean, I would have heard, like, some, some kind of slow crank if, if it was the if it was just a bad battery. But it wasn't a bad battery. It wasn't the alternator. Um, I ruled uh, all that stuff out. So, after that, I, I was uh, really confused as to what the problem was. And uh, I remember uh, the brake switch was one of the things that um, I, I, I knew that uh, 
the brake switch going kind of issues with the brake switch could cause not to start. So what I did was I actually uh, um, I actually had I had this kind of you guys know what the club is, but it, it's it's for the it's for the brake pedal. So I actually took the took took the the club, extended it to my seat, and had the brakes depressed and went out and and to, to check the, um, the the brake lights and the brake lights were pretty you know the brake lights came on. So if the brake lights didn't come on, then I I could have probably you know, you know, I, I could have probably deduced that it might have been the the um, the brake switch. But at that point, I was thinking to myself, all right, so I could rule all those things out. As far you know, it could have been a key fob too, but but um, I changed up the battery on the key fob like eight months ago, and uh, I I had I ruled that out. So at that point, I was like, okay, there's only a couple of things it could be considering it's it's not uh, cranking, it's not starting. Um, I, I looked at the dash, there was no check engine light on the dash, but um, I took my OBD2 reader, popped it in, and uh, ran it just to make sure that there was no issues with the car's computer, because I knew that... You know, it wasn't gonna pick up any kind of codes, and uh, and in and very few times a code will pop up for for a situation like this, where it's a no crank, no start situation. And it ran all the way through; there were no codes. Um, that pretty much uh, told me that the uh, the car's computer is connected to the car itself, and that was the only reason why I did that to to check that out. So um, at that point, I was thinking to myself. There's only a couple of things else that it could be. Um, it's either, you know, the fuse or um, a relay or the starter. But I didn't think it was the starter because that starter was changed out about a year ago. But anyway, I actually got to the fuse box, checked out the fuses. And the fuses, um, you know, I was trying to find out trying to uh, see the top of the fuses see if I, I saw any fuses that were blown brownish uh, whether there was any kind of you know um, any kind of burnt smell coming from the fuse box but I looked at all of them and there wasn't any I, I didn't you know I didn't have a fuse tester on me but I didn't see any of them that were actually um, blown so I um, I recalled uh, there were at least a couple of times where a fuse caused uh I've had incidents where not this car, but vehicles that I've had where it caused the car not to um, start. Now, one of those situations was I actually had, um, a, 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 I, I believe the fuse to the ECU was blown. And what happened was the car would crank, but it wouldn't start, turn over because there was a, <clears throat> it was either to the ECU to the, or to the car's fuel pump. And uh, once I changed that out, um, you know, the, it, it worked after that. But this is not the same situation uh, I was at at the point because, I mean, you know, the, the car wasn't cranking at all. The other, um, the other time I had a fuse issue where it caused the car not to start was, um, I believe it was on a Honda Accord where... Um, where you know I was getting no power at all to any portion of the car, it as it was as if the battery was absolutely hundred percent disconnected, and uh, it did turn out to be a fuse, but it was the main fuse on the car, where where you know, inside that fuse box, the main fuse that connected the battery to the fuse box itself, um, was blown, and um, once I changed that up, that actually, uh, you know. Got it to start. Got it to start without any problem whatsoever. <clears throat> so basically, I was left with a couple of things. I, I was left with either the uh, the relay, the you know one of the relays, particularly the starter relay or the starter itself. And uh, I was thinking to myself, the starter was changed out a year ago. Um, it's a there's a possibility that the starter could have gone out because I actually bought a rebuilt starter. For it and uh, starter was a hundred percent warranty for a, a lifetime warranty, but it was a rebuilt starter. I've had situations where a rebuilt starter. If you guys know anything about rebuilt starters, they actually 
uh, literally rebuild the starter. You, you, you give them the core and then uh, they changed up uh, certain parts. And uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I you know, the, I, I've, I've heard that they changed up just the parts that are broken and leave the other parts that in there. But, um, you know, I was crossing my finger, finger the fingers that it wasn't starter because it would have been really um, a, a real pain if it was. But uh, <clears throat> moving on to my... Uh, to, to, to what the real fix was um, on the car it was it was okay so I, I did the, the fuses uh, wasn't a hundred percent on the fuses but they looked all clean to me and um, got to the got to the relays themselves and I was looking at the relays and I was thinking to myself I was hearing a click so normally when you hear a click that means that the relay is firing off for the most part. A lot of times when you hear a click and every try every time you try to <clears throat> um, start your car and it's not turning it's not it's not cracking you hear a click normally it's the relay that you're hearing but uh, I looked at the relay popped it out the starter relay and uh, I was looking at it uh, just to see whether there was any kind of corrosion on there or anything that could have um, uh, caused it to have issues and stuff like that and uh, couldn't see anything. Uh, you know, couldn't see uh, any issues with it, I, and uh, I was I was trying to listen to the relay uh, when I tried to start it, and and uh, what it did was it did the same thing. I heard it. it, 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 it clicked. So I didn't think it was the relay, but but I was thinking to myself, probably should change up the relay, uh, see if there's another relay in the box. And uh, which which is what I did. I took another relay that had pretty much the same voltage. It was just a similar relay. Um, popped it into the starter relay. Took the starter relay out. The old one popped it in, and then got back in and tried to start it. And the and, and the car started up just like that. Started up fine. Um, at that point, I knew that that it was the relay that was causing uh, the car not to start. Uh, even though it was firing off, I think it was malfunctioning or something like that. Normally, if, when uh, my experience is with, when a relay is is um, is causing the issue, normally the relay is just 100% dead. You won't hear anything uh, firing off on it, but it did fire off. So, <coughs> so what I did was I drove I drove it to uh, AutoZone. I uh, <coughs> bought another bought another relay, popped it in. <coughs> And uh, it's been three days. Um, haven't had a single issue since um, at all. Haven't had a single issue since at all. And uh, I'm pretty glad that uh, it wasn't the starter uh, because uh, you know I, I you know between just popping out a relay and popping it in versus changing out a starter, I really uh, am glad that it wasn't the starter. Uh, in any case, in any case, um, if you guys are still watching this. Uh, I hope that this has helped you guys out. If you guys are having a no crank, no start situation, just uh, pretty much just follow the steps that I went through as far as, um, you know, going through the list of things that, um, you know, I went through as far as the battery, the ground wire, the fuses, the relay, um, you know, the alternator starters. It's It's got to be few, the uh, fob key. Um, chances are it's going to be like one of those things. Chances are it's probably going to be one of those things. Hopefully it's, it's, it's something that uh, is easy to fix as it was for me. Uh, regardless, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have a comment, please leave a comment in the comment section. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I uh, really appreciate, appreciate you guys uh, watching this video. All right, guys. Take care.